Okay guys, so I got a package delivered today with a pretty special spider in and I have actually started to undo the box already because I'm impatient and uh, wanted to get straight in there and that's the bubble wrap that I've already taken out because what we have is a box within a box this is how you want to package your teas during cold weather and then of course you need a heat pack as well which has been included on this second box still warm which is a good sign so yeah let's uh, see what's inside so inside the inner box we have bubble wrap which is a superb packaging material and if we just lift that out then you'll see inside there is the container with the actual spider in so yeah this is from Steve Spiders which is a Facebook group the link will be in the description and as you've seen, he does a very good job at packing his spiders. So I would highly recommend buying from him. But yeah, let's open this up and check the spiders okay. Inside the large container is a smaller one. And this is where the actual spiderling will be. So yeah, it's a lot of packaging for a small spider. But it's definitely worth it just to make sure it arrives in perfect health. And here it is. So it may seem like quite a bit of money for a spiderling, but as you can see it is the Pamphibetia species chicken spider. So it will grow to be quite large, almost as large as the Therophosa species. And this guy is actually already 3 centimeters in leg span, which is pretty much the same size that the T. blondi and T. stermi will start out. So you can tell it's going to grow into a pretty big spider. It's also quite fast, which is why it's uh, just uh, casually walking around at the moment. It ran straight out of the container once I opened it. So yeah, let's get him into the enclosure. Let's see if I can just very gently get him to crawl onto my hand. And then we'll be able to uh, put him into the enclosure. There we go. Even with the faster species, if you're very gentle and take your time, they are usually pretty easy to handle. Let's see if you'll crawl into the enclosure for us. Yeah, it gives you more of a size comparison. Now he's actually on my hand. So close. <laughs> Okay then guys, I might need to use both hands for this. So I've managed to get him into the enclosure and had to put the lid on because he was just climbing straight out again. Yeah, it's a very simple setup. Just a couple of artificial leaves in there from Tide Under. I might actually upgrade him tomorrow because it is a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. And yeah, give him a little bit larger enclosure with a hide and a very small water dish. So yeah, I'll definitely keep you guys updated on this one. Pretty interesting tarantula. And it will be very interesting to see just how big it grows. And I would highly recommend you check out Steve Spiders on Facebook. I will put a link in the description. So you guys can take a look. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. And I shall see you again soon.